This podcast is brought to you by a very special person. Who is it, Daniel? Because I think it's someone who helps us out a little bit every single day. Man, this podcast is brought to you by Nirvana Center, the newest podcast uh, sponsor of the final stop. We couldn't be more happy to be partnering with them because we love weed and good. We prices. love weed. We love weed and we love the best prices in the valley. And that's why everyone here under the umbrella of the final stop family chooses Nirvana Center. Nirvana Center. Stop and smell the mother freaking flowers. If you're over the age of 21, baby, enjoy the cash. <laughs> hey, welcome back to another episode of the Final Stop Podcast. I'm your host, Daniel Bridgehead, live from the ever glorious Mescal Manor. New studio. It's sick. We got new digs. Over on the other side of the country, looking jacked as usual. Not as jacked as Brett, but pretty jacked. It's the Vampire King King Possum Lord <laughs> <laughs> There goes any semblance of having solid audio for today. Yeah, or an audience. YouTube's not gonna like that. There goes the algae just peeking seven oh, what? seconds in. Sorry, I'm fucking I'm exploding. This was a long sleeve shirt before I had it on. That I just went ba ba. Fuck no, but that was a prepared off. bit before you ran it. This motherfucker was just sitting there like, I know exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah. Over here on the side table, uh, I'll buy his lonesome this week and always from here on out. It's the big man himself. Andrew Young. What's up, babe? In the big chair, in the new studio, in a big chair. So It's, I'm, it's so funny because we say in the Andrew big chair, I'm still bigger Aldo. than the chair. You said what? I said Andrew ate Aldo. <laughs> just curbed him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish I got his followers too. Yeah, you get his you get his powers, <laughs> a bad haircut, and some one liners. <laughs> yeah, right. I would I wouldn't mind a few two thousand followers from the kid. Yeah, holy shit! Kid and you fucking def- flew. You could definitely. Maybe that's uh, the key. I was gonna say you definitely wouldn't mind learning some skateboarding skills. That would help you in the long run, Andrew. Skateboarding skills, ninja skills, nunchuck skills, computer <laughs> hacking skill. You know skills. <laughs> <laughs> you're just jealous because i've been online <laughs> chatting with hot babes all day <laughs> listen you're just uh, listen listen you're just jealous that's who you are you're just kip <laughs> yeah listen you're just no, jealous i've been online talking to hot babes all day <laughs> <laughs> i got you guys even have the same mustache <laughs> Am I, I'm Kip? <laughs> yeah, you look. Oh my God. I don't know, I've never insulted you by calling you Kip before. I guess that makes me Napoleon, which is fine, but you could be Kip. <laughs> is that me or Andrew? Because I have a more you pronounced beer. Mus- no, An- no, Andrew's Tina. Are you drinking beer? Yeah, it's in <laughs> frame. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, huh? yeah I'm having from fl- I'm from, having from flappers. <laughs> you have a flappers glass? I do you have a flappers. You bought merch glass. on a weekend? You bought the you bought the club merch? No, you didn't. No, you, you stole a fucking you, flappers. Yeah, dude, half no, of my shit is stolen. Else that went through TSA, didn't it? And gave it to me. Who? Uh, someone who will rename nameless because I don't know if the if you can get in trouble for that crime in Burbank, Arizona. I mean, not Burbank, Arizona, Burbank, Los Angeles. I don't know the stealing a flappers mug. Does your do you do that a lot, or your girl do that a lot? Because my girl steals shit like from restaurants consistently we have so much glass shit that is just like there's this uh fremont brewing company in seattle and bro every time we go it's just like she'll order she'll she'll make sure that like i order something that comes in the same glass that what like she's drinking or vice versa so that way we can get a pair and go, dude like that's so that's walk very trashy walk out. Yeah, the rich get richer. It's the trashiest thing she does. It's wild she doesn't know what EBT is, but she has no problem just fucking sleight of handing yeah. silverware, cutlery, sauce dishes. That's rich people EBT. That is rich people EBT. They go, what? They'll write it off as shot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's like, Collections oh, you have the it. government pay for your cheese. Meanwhile, she's never paid for a sauce dish in her fucking life because she always goes <laughs> to Outback and steals the butter ones. And she's like, what? That's why they have insurance. You're like, I know, but that's not. Damn it, you're correct. Yeah, let's take what, do you, what, what do you mean? They have insurance on the sauce cups? You think it's a fucking <laughs> Ford dealership? You think they're getting. No, it's, it's a you're ri- at an Outback it's Steakhouse. It's a write off. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a blooming onion, you fucking dipshit. Which is a great thing, by the way. I've never been to Outback, but I heard the blooming onion. What? Well, I've never been to an Outback. Why would either. you go to an Outback? What? If I'm going to throw a steak. If I'm going to throw steak money around, I'm going to go to a nice steak place. 
Outback Steakhouse, first off, is a nice steak place. How dare you? Second off, is fantastic. <laughs> They're pumpernickel bread, so warm, so good, so tasty. I, I've been going to Outback since I was a child, since I was a little baby. I'll live and die on this hill. Nowhere can you get... Honestly, I was bummed yeah, when I came that, here. Yeah, that's that a that body was... built on Outback Steakhouse. Your family also started a theme park, so that's pretty on brand for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that... Yeah, the mouse it's made just us, be like dude. giant chain theme parks, obviously corporate restaurants. We love every single one of them. Yeah, my parents got married at a rainforest cafe. What of it? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they had the reception at a sizzler. Fuck off. And my parents, dude, my mom and dad did go at, this sucks so bad. They'd hate this that I'm saying it. After their wedding, they went to a Hooters to get wings. And- <laughs> no. Rather no. Rather just staring at ass immediately. That, it was my coffee. mom's idea. She wanted fried pickles. That's, do you know how many other places serve fried pickles? He, he, uh, she what was Ruby that. Tuesdays? Guess what? My mom worked there, so wait, she didn't want to go wait, back wait, to wait, work. Wait, 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 wait. Your parents is after they got married? No, Fat Tuesdays, not Ruby Tuesdays. My mom has some class. She worked at Fat Tuesdays. This is after they got married, though, when they went to. Uh, yeah. Hooters? Yeah. Okay. How how old are they? Um, all before thirty. Why are you making Buddy, that weird? They face? might as well went to the Blue Martini. They were out here fucking swinging for the fences. They were. You switching. think they were swinging in fucking nineteen ninety five Florida? That wasn't a thing Disney, back then. Disney adults who got married go to Hooters. What else are you doing? Oh, the fried they don't go to chips. Hooters they wanted anymore. Fried asshole. Huh? Dallas learned it from somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> First off, stop grabbing the microphone because you're tugging on the fucking camera and it looks like you're having a stroke every single time you do it. You don't need to go full evangelical, Daniel. And my parents aren't fucking other people, I promise you. (laughs) Unfortunately, that is one of the side effects of uh, just being too cool, man. You know? No, I mean, the same way that like your dad wrote a perfectly crafted bit the other day. And that obviously makes sense why you spawned out that way. That must mean your mom has the ability to pitch a tricycle like Noah. (laughs) This is not true. Why is it that every time we get to the public episode, it's like, all right, Tristan, your sister-in-law is a fucking whore. Uh, Your mom is having tricycles. Daniel, I wish I could talk on your family, but you don't know them well enough. We do. That's been a running joke that I've been estranged for like two years now. Oh, sorry, we talk about how your mom looks funny. Oh, your why? Dad with a goofy Are you estranged because they gave up your house to have it be your fuck room? Is like, is everyone just sitting on your D1 trophies now? They invite all your friends over and show you, like, he's doing a podcast now. Isn't that hysterical? All right, squat, Stephanie. Try to see if you could take this whole Gatorade Player of the Year trophy inside you. Anyways, we're going to go to Olive Garden and see if we can patch things up. (laughs) (laughs) My God, we're going to go to Olive Garden. (laughs) See, we talk shit about... We're an equal family shit-talking podcast. This is this is the type of thing when Dan when Andrew was yelling it was uh, talking shit about me being with Haley and it's like dude I have a stable family relationship I get pussy what are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> what are you what are you talking about oh man yeah mine's uh mine's getting more stable every day <laughs> my mom did call me she hit me with a uh, hey uh you getting your dad your mom what it, when you call it when you uh, when your mom calls you what does she call you by your first name. Do you want to hear what it sounds like? No, but like? I know he calls her by his, hers. Do you want to hear what it yeah. sounds like when my mom when my mom calls me? Watch this. You guys will you guys will find this. We're not doing another chat call. No, you just get a voicemail. It's not that at all. You guys will actually find this very amusing. So this is what happens when uh Are you actually calling her? No, I'm just show you the ringtone to call. This is what happens when my mom calls me. This is what I've had since I was like eighteen years old, and it still plays today. Danger, danger. This call is from your mother. It is most likely hazardous. Be prepared for a series of questions to which there are no right answers. Danger. Danger. Dude, can I get... What Spencer's I, gift I, shop did you buy that ringtone from? Dude, Same can I, I just get... One? Dog. <laughs> Dog. 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 Daniel, can I say one thing? What? 
Dude, honestly, cover yourself in mayonnaise and tahini. You are fucking corny, bro. That is the corniest <laughs> shit. <laughs> hey, dude, you're fucking a lote, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I've been in serious what type situations. Of, dude, literally, <laughs> literally, at that outside of a seventh grader <laughs> is fucking day. insane to me. <laughs> Like that literally, <laughs> honestly, that goes with like a home plus work, two words that should never be together shirt. Like that fucking you know what? sucks, dude. I would take I would take such slander from a man if you didn't have a fucking soundboard app on your phone right now. That's another seventh grade thing. That's crazy. Yeah, but you constantly shit on him for the soundboard, and you have a soundboard songs as your ringtone. I do selective ringtones. <laughs> they're, they're very, they're very distinct. You have hip hop SpongeBob. Which, dude, <laughs> I, I, I hope, I mix. hope, I hope a fucking phone, you get a phone call one day that your son is dead and it comes through a fucking SpongeBob <laughs> ringtone. <laughs> You're just like, do 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 just that Bro, it's funny. It's ringtone. like danger, danger. This is a call from your mother. Pref pref prepare for a series of questions to which there are no right answers. <laughs> There's no right answers. That's funny. Dog. Boop, boop, boop. Danger. <laughs> danger. That so bad. sucks <laughs> so bad. You don't have any fun ringtones? No. You don't got... Did you ever have a ringtone back in the day? Honestly, Daniel, and I'm not lying to you, Probably on my first phone when I was sixth grade. And then I kind of moved past it, man. Like first off, I got those why when would I, was 18. I why would I why would I spend time out of my day to spend ninety nine cents or a buck twenty nine, more like it, uh, a buck twenty nine on a fucking ringtone specifically for when my mom calls. That is that is touched behavior, my friend. It may, I don't know you. it makes me laugh. <laughs> It makes me. I like good old fucking dad jokes and a nice, a nice. Do joke you know what you should calendar. do? Do you know? Oh, who's your fucking ghostwriter? The fish mm. on the wall that sings to you, <laughs> like oh, Billy, Billy Bass. Big, yeah, Billy Big Mouth yeah. Bass. You have Billy the Big Mouth Bass as your ghostwriter. You fucking nerd. I would. Uh, here, here we go. You know what we do have though is this is going to sustain almost the whole episode. Oh, before we go into this, can I bring up something? Mm -hmm. Uh, do, I, have you seen into uh, Across the Spider Verse yet, Tristan? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now I'm not going to talk about the movie. I'm going to talk about the people that went to the movie. Oh, okay. I was like, I haven't seen it yet. because I went to the Harkins next to our place, and oh, God. I was the number of just grown men, the out of shape grown men dressed as Spider Man. No, there were guys dressed up, dressed up as Spider Man. Well, the kids can, weren't even dressed up; well, it was adults. Because now you can customize it, because it's fucking a multiverse. So now they got like fucking paraplegic Jewish Spider Man, and <laughs> you know, fucking this guy's toe doesn't work, Spider Man, and fucking <laughs> oh god, he this guy's have a collarbone, Spider Man. <laughs> yeah, a this guy hasn't talked to his children in three years. To be Spider Man, <laughs> <laughs> deadbeat dad, Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't fight crime, but he still swings around avoiding his kids. <laughs> he only Manning swings around to find hot chicks. <laughs> that's, that's basically what we're going to get to. It's going to get that bad. But it's just like, did you see the Travis Scott Spider-Man in the new movie? And he's like, all right, well, this is Fortnite now. I'm out. No, but the the thing that made me so upset was I was like, I wish there was a certain part of me that didn't think that was just dumb as hell. Because it's just a dude being happier than i will ever be just with his wife dressed up as spider-man just yeah. having the time of his life he had that day marked in his calendar don't like, yuck don't yuck on some guy's yum that's what i'm saying I, that's what i'm saying is like, i wish i didn't think that was dumb as hell uh i could i could see it well we're comedians so being ironically dumb is like beneficial but a normal human being wearing a fucking spider-man because in my head Dude. i'm like yeah we should all go as spider-man and film it but we kind of that ties you, into no, work there, there could be he's gonna go brag to people to, about that there could be shit through the fold that gets through that's like Oh, uh, dude! I was at a show on Saturday, and my buddy Tim, he's like, he's a, uh, he's from the Bronx, black guy, like tall and stuff like that. He comes through, and he's talking to me. He's like, "Yo, I'm gonna get my first tattoo," 
And I'm like, what are you getting? And he's like, I'm going to get Peter Dinklage right here <laughs> from Game of Thrones. The and I'm like, Game of Thrones? I'm like, dude, that's like pretty much getting vitiligo. It's going to, white is going <laughs> to spread throughout your entire body after that. I'm like, you expect to be well, black after getting pinky dinky on your fucking arm, dude? <laughs> Peter well, you Dinks. know that both are... You know that both of my parents have cartoon characters tattooed on them, right? Oh god. Yeah, you don't think you how do you get to you don't get to the VP of a trucking company without having a honestly, big red dog honestly, on your arm. If Haley if Haley was <laughs> like, Oh, I gotta show you like on our first date, so if she was like, I gotta show you a tattoo I'm really embarrassed by and she just showed me like P, like uh Brian Griffin on her shoulder, I'd be like, I'm marrying you. I'm like, I'm marrying you, dude. That's awesome. No way. No, because you're into trash bags. Like, my mom has, you know, you're something funny. I like how you, my, pre- right, I like how you preface it with, you're going to end up with a trash bag, but my mom watch, also does this. Watch this. No, I've never denied my parents a trash I'm a trash bag. My mom has a Taz the, ta- uh, <coughs> Taz the. Tasmanian devil. Tasmanian devil fucking tattoo. And she got it when she was young and hot. She got it when she was, like, 19, and it's on her, like, bikini line. But it got more accurate. Do you want to know why? Older. Do you want to know why she got it? Because when she's sucking dick, she's like. That was good. Uh, but it got more accurate as she got older. So it started as like a very defined picture of Taz in co- full color where it's like it. But it's him mid cyclone. So you can see the top of his body, but the bottom of his body is doing like the. Now it just looks like then an upside had- down shit emoji. Well, she had she had three kids, so it went from being a stagnant image of Taz to looking like if you wrote a bunch of Taz's on like sticky notes and, and then just flipped, flipped it. it. It's like brrr, in between like stretch marks, the inks faded. It's fucking yeah. <laughs> it's if more you, it's more accurate. Though. If you put her under a strobe light and she did her shirt like that, it would look like a stop motion animation. <laughs> I've yeah. seen that uh, installation uh, at the fuck. Disney Animation Center and. Uh, California Adventure. Say that no, five times fast. I've seen that installation. The Dilly yeah. is a I can't say it. You can't say it one time slow. <laughs> so tall cans, boys. Second episode. Keep going. Tall cans made you dim, dog. <laughs> dim as hell. You no, know Tristan. Uh, I have nothing. What was the topic? No, but I was, no, but no, but I was I was saying because we went to the the Harkins right there on Australia, Tristan. And I don't know how yeah. long it's been since you've been to a Harkins, but when I went, it's only for, like, struggling single dads and teenagers that want to finger each other. That's all the Harkins was. No, now they have a bar. Yeah. Yeah. They have a bar. Well, that is crazy, too, because the people that were at the bar were not there for the movies. Oh, well, cause we're not- hey, guys, let me tell you. <laughs> the, bar at, the bar at Harkins is one of the best bars that you could possibly go to. First off, they can't accept tip. It's all just they get paid commit they get paid like a base charge hourly, and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, they get paid hourly so they don't accept tip. And also like a well Tito's is like 7 or 8 bucks. Like their well is Tito's and it's 7 or 8 bucks. So you can get like a double for like 12 13. dollars And I would just get like double Tito's and sodas and then just get like slightly pretty buzzed like halfway through the show and then just could be like I'm going to go take a piss and you know what? While I'm out, I'll just go tag up another Tito soda, you know, that's what they do. <laughs> Wait, and do you have to do that? Do you do that same thing that I do when, like, I know I'm making the decision to go from, like, moderate drinking to, like, a heavy drink? Or smoking, for that matter. I'll, like, I'll, like, sugar up the word a little bit. I'll just be like, oh, I just need to go take a little dab burrito before we leave to go see your parents or something. Like, just make it sound nice because I know I'm going to get, like, a, do you need to smoke right now? Do you need that other beer? I'm going to go to Bud Lightski from the bar. You guys want anything? <laughs> yeah, you want a Celsi, dog? <laughs> yeah. Usually the thing is, it up. The thing is, Haley is seeing me without, like, a morning, like, a morning weed thing. And, like, it's not a good look. Well, when like, you wake up and you miscalculated, there's no dabs left. And you're like, fuck. No, we, uh, when we went to go visit my parents, like, a few months back, we were, like, rushing in the morning and stuff like that. It was just really stressful. We got in the rent-a-car, and then we were just driving, and so I was just, like, kind of coming down from the stress, and I'm like, fuck, I haven't smoked today, and I was just quiet, just staring, just not making conversation, just thinking, and Haley's like, are you good? I'm like, 
yeah, I just haven't smoked. I'm just thinking a lot. And then she literally, for like the first like hour of the road trip, it was just me just in silence, like listening to the radio. And she was like, all right, we can get a joint in you. You know, we can, we can, we can stop and get like a little smoke yeah. thing. I like that occasionally. It's, it doesn't happen when I, when I go to work because I'll take a little bong rip or dab or something before I go to work. But <clears throat> sometimes on Saturdays or like Sundays, I won't smoke till like 11. I'll just be like in my bed looking at, you know, looking at shit or watching TV and like, I'll just kind of forget. Sometimes I'll make it to like noon and it feels nice. Not nice enough to where I'll be like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not stopping. But occasionally it's a nice little like sit, let all the voices in. They're going to fucking fuck around in your noggin for a little bit. And then you go like, take a bong rip, even you out. Oh, hey, (laughs) I didn't see you there. I was just wondering, if you want to do me a favor, and, you know, I'm not doing nothing over here. I'm just fucking slamming iron down. But if you want to do me a favor and join the $1 or $10 level of the final stop, that'd be greatly appreciated. It doesn't really matter to me because I'm in a palace of meat. That is my body. But <laughs> if you want to join, please do. I'm red in the chest. Wow. We love you. Um, but uh, I, I remember when I was working at the catering and stuff like that. I always had, I had my dab pen and my uh, wax on me. And so like, I would charge it in the car when I was like on the way to a delivery. And then in the back of the car, once I did the delivery, I would just take a few dabs and it was just so nice. Cause I would just like, I would just like leave the windows rolled down in the back on the way home. And it'd be like 35 minutes. So it would just all air out. And it just like, Oh man, I got those sandwiches in good. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> it it, it there's, was so nice. There's something nice about being like, uh, oh man, just baked in the workplace is fucking is sick. Just hitting like a nice. When I was working at Chick Fil A, just the real like bottom level of my life, I would go hit three blinkers in the bathroom and be like, hey, uh, my boss's name was Joe. I'm like, I'm gonna take a shit. And with fucking the bros would already know that sometimes I didn't have my own. They'd like hit me with a little like pen in the back, bro. Fucking take the Penderman in the in the handicap stall. Make myself fuck for a sec. Three bl- <laughs> the public. Three blinkers. We gotta in. bleep that. I'm walk- oh, yeah, It's I'll the bleep, public. Bro. We'll bleep it. Three blinkers in. I'm walking back. That's fine. <clears throat> Make sure you're paying attention. Fucking ripped. Flipping chicken sandwiches. Not saying my pleasure. I mean one bit. Shirt untucked. <laughs> fuck. Joe. Dude, I I remember I remember when I was working at Chiba Hut. First off, all of us had pens on us, so we would go. I think I told you guys about this. Have I told you about the pan flute band? No, that sounds no. So you were in sexual. a pan flute band. That sounds so sexual. No, so oh, is that what you guys was that y'all's safety meeting? Oh yeah, no. I'll tell you what it is. So everyone would have their pens on them and stuff like that, and you'd take them into the walk-in. And do you know what a pan flute is? Yeah, oh, so you'd hit them yeah, all the Yeah, with those time, little like pipes. And so you'd go. Yeah. And then just and see God how damn. big of a hit you could take. And then you'd go and just be like. And then just cough it out in like the humid, cold air of the walk-in, which felt so good. And then. You'd be telling your kids one day. Like, meanwhile. Like Chiba Hut playing the standard harmonica. Yeah, meanwhile, I'm playing. I'm coughing over just lightly wrapped produce. Just like this is pre-COVID, I'm just like ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh. and I'm like we wash everything; it doesn't matter. And then walking out. Have you ever out, worked fast then, food before? What? It ruins it. I asked him if he's ever worked fast food because you worked at fast food. It ruins it for you. If you think about it too oh, much. Oh yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't at eat like, at any of the besides like Chipotle. I couldn't work at like eat at any of the fast food places that I worked. <laughs> any of the any of the shit where they don't have it out in front of you, I don't trust it. Like like. uh Chipotle, they do it all out in front of you. They cook the chicken, they cut it. It's like from the time that it gets unfrozen to the time I get it, it's all right there. Ta- uh, I got a hard Dude. time. I got to be like fucked up to have Taco Bell. Can I? McDonald's. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? I don't know if it was just because I was a weakling, but I'm pretty sure this was the case. When I worked at Freddy's, I worked there for like two weeks. It sucked. And uh, do you know the <laughs> Freddy's Steak Burger place? 
Yeah, Dude, with I'm the... pretty. I'm I'm pretty sure like the dedicated fry cooks there. After you get used to like smashing down the frozen patties and shit like that, I'm pretty sure you can decapitate a toddler with your bare hands because that takes serious <laughs> fucking hand strength. Like it literally. I remember the first two weeks that I did it. Like I was like only on frying, and I was like, tss, tss, tss. dude, my wrists were like I couldn't move my hands afterwards just because they're frozen patties. So you have to like squeeze ice out of them and shit like that, and it was just. It did. It was just, just balls. How do you squeeze ice out of a frozen You have to like bed? strip it off with your hand. Yeah. Yeah. So you like basically you take ice? it off. You take it off like the piece of parchment paper that was on. And it's just like a frozen patty. And then you have to put it on the thing and then just like warm it up. And you're squishing it while it's still the f- inside is frozen. So there's just like a fucking rock in the middle oh, that so you're just like. like- yeah, you have to be like with two spatulas. So you're putting all this downward <clears throat> pressure on your like wrists and shit like that. It sucks so bad. That's what I'm there saying. I'm like, nice. I'm pretty sure you could like go up to a kid and just go whop and just completely <laughs> just ruin him. There's something nice though about a, a nice like zone out loop. You know what I'm talking about? Where you're like in the like when I worked at Chick Fil A, I would I was the <clears throat> the breader. And like sometimes I'd have a head a headphone in in one ear and it's playing you know some podcast and then you're just like open the pack there's like ten in there bop 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 dip it in the egg wash dip it in the flour put it on the rack and it's just like you're just doing the same thing over and over again and you just like get to turn your brain off and you're just doing the same well there's there's motion. two ways that 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 job works it's either you feel like you've been doing it for four hours and it's been twenty five minutes. Or it feels like you've been doing it for twenty five minutes, and you've and the been day's there th- over. and you've been there three days. That is the that is the cool part when you just like zone out, and then you're like, "Where are you a are you a take your lunch break as early as you can guy, or a push it until as late as you can, so then when you come back, you have like no time left. Where do you uh, fall in the bucket? Uh, lunch break as soon as I can. I need that solace. I need to just get out of there for a little bit, and then when I come back, I'm fine. But I just need to be like. Yo, I'm going to dip out for, like, 30 minutes. I'm going to go smoke. Dude, literally every single one of, like, when I was on, I didn't take breaks when I was at catering. I would just work the entire time. And so it would be, like, from when I clocked in to clocked out, I was doing stuff always. And But when I was working at, like, other places, I would be like, yo, I'm going to get, like, a little drinky-poo. I'm going to smoke a blunt, and I need this drinky fucking poo. time. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. And I'd be, like, pounding a claw, and I'd be like, listen, I kill it at Trader Joe's. I'm a rock star. <laughs> and, <laughs> and listen, like, I fucking tuck produce like no one's business. I'm going to go catch a Bernie in the parking lot. Dude, I only got caught for smoking weed one time at Trader Joe's. I felt so bad. I felt Didn't so bad. Didn't you, like, do it like a dumbass, though? Like, you smoked, like, real weed at work? Like, not, like, dabs or an edible or something like that? Like, you took, like, real, like, real kush? Yeah, no, I'd, I'd, like, smoke a joint when I was, like, on my work break in my car. I remember I hotboxed my car with the backwood, and I'm like, I wonder if I smell bad. And then my manager came around, and he's like, it doesn't matter what you do on your work break, but just don't let it come back in, you know? And I'm just like, my bad. <laughs> I'm like, I just reek of wood, and I'm like, my bad. You hotbox your car with a wood, and they didn't fire you immediately? It's Trader Joe's, dude. What the fuck are you expecting? I mean, I guess at least send you home for the day. Be like, bro, you reek like honey. Fucking go in. All right. I just uh, read the first <coughs> one of. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So we do have obviously on the just final stop. It, yeah. On the Patreon. Uh, final st- or uh, www.patreon.com slash final stop podcast. Look, it's a fucking four quarters or $10 for the real internal affairs. And. We like promoting from within. So, uh, Trevin, you saw him on the Patreon. He came in with, I mean, a fucking smorgasbord of questions that are pretty all right. And uh, we're going to go through them here, but that's the benefit of being on the Patreon. You get your questions How about this? Take them off the, can you take them off the screen so I don't know what the questions are and you can proposition yeah. them like quiz questions? And then just go one by one. Let's go rapid fire because they're directed at all of us. Uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, they're all there's there's some that's targeted specifically for one person on the cast, and then there's some for the boys. If we were smart, we'd milk this over like nine episodes, but fuck it, do it anyway. Fuck it. He's gonna send more after this. Yeah. All right, uh Tristan, how would you feel if Daniel got casted in Paddington three? And this is the first one I read that really got to me. 
So hold on. <laughs> and I have, an, I have an update on Paddington 3 because Trevin DM'd me during the break in between the Patreon and this. He said, dude, someone leaked a bunch of new movies coming out in the future that haven't been announced. And you should tell Tristan, Paddington 3, Paddington in Peru is being made. See how he reacts to it. First off, Paddington's I know Pat- going Latina, baby. Yeah, threequel will begin filming in July. Yes, dude. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if I got cast in Paddington, Tristan's one of the guys that's dressed up as Paddington at a Harkins. Yeah, <laughs> dude, dude. Uh, honestly, honestly, look out on that grassy knoll because I'm coming for your ass, bro. If you get fucking, <laughs> I'll straight up assassinate you if you fucking get in Paddington uh, 3. That's your that's your sports podcast. If for some reason Brady's like, you know, I really want to start up a podcast with a comedian, that'd be like uh-huh. and he picks Tristan. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm so much more knowledgeable about sports. <laughs> that's my, I'm just yeah. fucking me and Paddington are surfing, taking him to get Asian massages. In it's Peru? Like ten, Come on, better. he's a fun bear. He's a, in he's Peru, a wholesome bear. He is a fun bear. That's what fucking... <laughs> he's a wholesome guy. Bear. I'd be so mad. I'd be so mad, dude. He is a wholesome guy. He's trying to get some hole. That's the lady he slept with. The Asian <laughs> massage party. Wholesome guy. One second. <laughs> One second. Baby. Do you sleep next to this lady every night? <laughs> 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 yeah, we'll wait for your Critics' Choice review after the show. Hey, babe! Hey, yo, babe! Paddington 3 is coming! He said it like a Dominican yelling from the bottom of the building. Hey, yeah, yo, usually, I have to, usually I have to pick up a broom and hit the ceiling. But this time she's right over here. All right, Daniel. How would you feel if Tristan got dreads? Wrong. <laughs> wrong answer entirely. Because I know this? they wouldn't be... I would sooner get cornrows than dreads. I don't actually know which one's worse, because cornrows almost have no place in white person culture. <laughs> but dreadlocks, you could at least make the argument for like uh, I love, white I love people the world grow a lot of corn, energy. Daniel. Hmm. So we can <laughs> grow the corn, a- but we can't row our own hair with the corn. That seems a little bit like a cultural appropriation, if you don't mind me. Um, <laughs> I like. I would like to just stay my own piece. I think cornrows would be not only a good choice for me, but the only choice. And honestly, I've debated just honestly, dude, get me to the shore. You don't want to see me near the shore because I see the person doing cornrows and I say, hey, put some beads in it. I'm going for it. Uh, Actually, I'd probably accept dreadlocks before cornrows because at least that's a commitment. It would annoy me how fast they grow compared to black people dreadlocks, but I could get by it. If there's Dude, there's a correct way to do it. You would not be able to sleep at night if my white guy dreads were better than your black guy dreads. There are <laughs> there, is, there is no way you'd be able to fucking sleep. One one inkling of sleep. You know what it would be though? It wouldn't even be that. It wouldn't even be because they look better. It would be like you make the same douchey arguments that I make and it'd bother me like Dude, it's part of like my aesthetic. It's almost my personality at this point. I'm like, God, I fucking suck. I'd be like, you know how <laughs> long it takes me to grow these things out, man? It's a lot of hard work and determination. It's like it's a lot of hard work so and is, dedication. Yeah, so is growing then out I'm, your toenails, you fucking weirdo. Yeah. Then I'm forced to just be like, no, it actually just happens if you just don't fuck with it for a while. Yeah, That's do you fine. say yeah. that hair grows naturally if you don't touch it? Wowee, shocker. <laughs> it's almost like the South is a big part of the United States. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> I rewatched that. That was a pretty dumb fucking question on my part. Uh, how big is how big is the South? Though? No, you said it like you're making like a scientific discovery. You're like, you know what, guys? I think the South's actually a pretty big, pretty big part. That's yeah, it's, fucking. It's hey. larger than the entirety of the United Kingdom. <laughs> That's how the world works, boys. The Vikings found America first, came, <laughs> raped, and pillaged. They left. Then a guy from Spain came in and was like, these are Indians. And we're like, yeah, might as well. That's how. That, it's always the second guy. And dude, you wanted, speaking of raping and pillaging, I saw <laughs> Jim Gaffigan do the funniest bit. The funniest bit. So I was going to go see, this happened while we were not doing podcasts. So I went to go see my buddy Wolfgang do his audition at Gotham. And fucking Jim Gaffigan stops by and does a 20-minute set in, like, the middle of, like, losers, dude. And, like, my buddy, who's, like, he kills. 
and like he's just trying to get work at the club but like all these people are just fucking dog shit and then it's like dog shit dog shit dog shit jim gaffigan and he does, <laughs> it's like a new faces show dude literally and like he fucking does this bit about genghis khan that is so <laughs> funny he's like gang i'll try to do my best jim gaffigan he's like genghis khan is related to six percent of asia and he's like do you think when he went home to his wife and she was like you know it genghis gang- when you go out what do you do after the village is conquered he's just like you know pillage that's about it you know, <laughs> I don't. And she's like, I heard that some people are raping out there. She's like, yeah, that's the other guys. It's not me. You know? That's not. <laughs> that's the other guys. And yeah. And then you go to a village with your wife. She's like, hey, Genghis. <laughs> hey, Genghis. Why do all the kids look like you? And you're just like, <laughs> you're like. That's pretty racist of you, honestly. <laughs> that they're all... <laughs> That's a fucking hilarious bit, dude. Yeah. All right, next, next, let's get to the next question. Jim Gaffigan Tristan, did that. This is for Tristan and Daniel. Would you do a wife swap like the show, and how do you think it would go? I want you to know that based off that question, Trevin's beat off to both of our schools. <laughs> 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 dude. That's crazy. Paid, dude, do you mean the two? Yeah. D- dude, honestly, it would be the show I survived for two different reasons. It would be, it would be called, it would be called, it would be called I survived from Haley's perspective, being I survived 90 days with this fuck bag. And then it would be I survived from Taylor's perspective, saying I survived six years with this fuck bag. Holy shit. <laughs> This isn't how relationships have to be. <laughs> Fuck you. How is my side the bad side of both of those situations? Fuck off. <laughs> you met in a red roof. Eat my ass. There's no That's way. One. There's no way. Just so you know, just so you know, if it did, if it did, if we did wife swap, here's how I think it would go, Trevor. And if you want to know, I'd have my choice of two people and Tristan be shit out of luck. <laughs> <laughs> You can think that all you want. You would hang out with Taylor, and she'd be like, thank God, I'm so glad to have you back. That guy's feminine. I go back to Haley, and she'd be like, that's what sex is like? I need (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. Dude, I went. Uh, I've never had an orgasm until then. (laughs) Oh, yeah, I'm sure. It's like I've never had an orgasm without the guy looking at himself the entire fucking time. Oh, you don't need to, you don't need to come without nine mirrors in the room. That's crazy. <laughs> I do have a floor to ceiling mirror in my room. <laughs> no, you don't. Dude, I can imagine I can imagine Taylor coming home and then just me being like, "How's your day?" And then a s- fucking plates drop in the sink, and she's like, "What the fuck <laughs> did you just say to me?" And I'm like, uh, <laughs> "Ask her a question dude, I, about her I emotions." I picked a zit How's on my nose doing? and it's bleeding like a cyst right now, dude. Your like, nose is bleeding? Okay, get away from the camera. <laughs> what are you... D- I mean, cut around that. What are we doing? You can't just throw your fucking bloody nose on here. <laughs> All right, the thing is, um, it's not bloody from the inside. It's bloody from the outside. That is worse. You have an open lesion. At least I can excuse a bloody nose. All right, this one's for the boys. Uh, what's your favorite smell? Pussy. I knew that was coming. Probably fresh tire or gas. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey, yo, probably fresh tire or gas or you know, fucking diesel. Uh, can diesel you can right? you describe the smell of American freedom in a word? <laughs> oh, <I'm gonna> <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm being dead serious. Like literally armor all, which is the like car shiny stuff or gas. Gas is gas. I mean, I understand that when I went to, I love the smell. Like when I used to go to Speed World and shit like that. Yeah, going open to the, sword Speed World. What do you love to smell? Go ahead, tell, tell me what you love sniffing. <laughs> no, have you ever been to Speed World? Huh? No, I've never been. Like K one. Oh, is that so what it is like? 
It's like it's like motorbike racing place. Oh, I thought it was like, your dealer's house. No, Speed World. No, <laughs> I thought that. Was what is that? Dude, My dealer's World. house. What is that? CVS. <laughs> I met old you. It was a Coke joke. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Man, my nose won't stop bleeding. <laughs> Why is everything an issue? Jesus Christ. I can't help it. This podcast it. is derailing. <laughs> we should have done that. I should have just talked to you before the guests and we did the public first. I'm bleeding. I'm just bleeding. Hey, you look like Rudolph, the crackhead reindeer. <laughs> I don't Rudolph look good the- right now. I can attest to that. Rudolph, the fentanyl addicted caribou? That's what you fucking look like. <laughs> Are you going to be able to podcast or is your nose going to be not good? Is it dripping? I feel like it's about to. <laughs> Bro, just let it ride. Tristan, you do look like a lot lizard that couldn't keep her mouth shut. <laughs> Listen, I was trying to make $25, all right? <laughs> you look like one of those after pictures on the faces of meth. Uh. Nailed it. <laughs> I thought that was good. Fuck all you guys. That was solid. We actually talked about that on this show. We pulled up faces of math. Fuck off. You guys collectively looked at me like, no, not that. All right, way. for the boys, uh, what sport would all adding alcohol make it a thousand times better? Uh, uh, freestyle ACL? canoeing. <laughs> yeah, white water rafting. Just Have you ever looked up, up freestyle canoeing? No, what is that? Look it up. Freestyle canoeing? Is it one guy in a boat or multiple dudes? It's one guy in a boat just being sad that his kids are gone. That's pretty much what it is, dude. (laughs) You're freestyle canoeing? Oh, what does freestyle mean? Like you get to hit like the 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 breaststroke, the backstroke, they garnish my wages stroke, and then you get to the end and they give you a Bud Light. Uh, no, it's pretty much like you go. You need to pull up a video. Oh no! Are these guys doing tricks in a canoe? To songs, oh, duh. No. Cut to halfway through. Cut to halfway through. Oh, it's a long oh, intro. No, that's so bad. Oh no! This is just like uh, it's like ribbon dancing. It's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, that's all we could show. Here's my th- here's my thing. Red. Here's my thing. Just just play that still right there. Just play that still. Nothing. Nothing I'm wishing more in my life is to see this idiot in a fucking, <laughs> in a literal t- tuxedo fall into water. Because you know they have to fail sometimes. They have to, like, you're trying to ghost ride the fucking canoe, basically. And then you, like, Oh, are you saying, out. no, he definitely has an o- above ground pool on his property that he practices canoeing tricks in. Uh, that's, and honestly, that's wrong. why his wife left. Wow, that's I. I would have. How do you know about that? What the fuck? How do you find out about freestyle canoeing? It was brought up on in a in a group chat recently. Jesus, you know which one I think it would be. You know that that long jump thing they do in the Winter Olympics with the skis. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> the you? fuck! Where it's just niggas. <laughs> it's niggas being like. <laughs> So they just like these sit guys. there. Yeah, these <laughs> motherfuckers just sit there and like glide like flying squirrels. They just sit there and fall. Uh, do you know the story of Eddie the Eagle? Yeah, could you imagine doing that blackout drunk, dude? <laughs> no, what's Eddie the Eagle? Eddie the Eagle pretty much was like a dude who was like bottom rung in like the sports like pole jumping community like that. Like long jump and like he somehow got into the Olympics and everyone loved him just because it was like a testament of like the every man trying his best. And he was just like scoring at the very bottom of everything, but still able to elig- like be eligible for the Olympics. Right. So it was just like this guy who's just like, I'm doing my best. I'm from England. Let's give it a go. And everyone's like, yeah. And then he came in like six, and they're like, Eddie, Eddie. <laughs> and then he was like an icon after that. Yeah, so it's just British Rudy. Was it was it specifically Olympic sports or any sport? Any sport. Because Cornhole, which the professional version is ACL, ironically, it's the American Cornhole League. That is one thing that like, have you ever played Cornhole That's before? something you, that you, you don't need to play that game in ACL. No, yeah, you don't need it at all, but you do need alcohol. That game by itself, is, it's fine. Yeah, you're thrown around. If you're hammered and you vaguely don't like the other people you're playing against, it's the most fun and competitive shit in the world. And you're just sitting there fucking. 
Boom, that's plus to us. Give me another Coors Light now. Thank you. Appreciate you. And you're just like, bro, you're in cargo you're pants. You're snapping at people. <laughs> you're snapping at people in flops. That's off. Your phone was over. Your phone was fucking. And you just, bro, you're, you're screaming at people. I We need to have a cornhole tournament. A nice no, winter back, us in a league. Backyard yard games no, tournament. I'm being, I'm being, no, so, I'm, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, the, the bocce ball shit. We get no, hammered playing that. No, we play cornhole. Lawn darts. Lawn darts. Lawn darts, yes. I think yes. people died during that, so they banged it. <laughs> but I'm saying, I think it'd be fun if you're down here. They have day cornhole tournaments we could enter. We could go get fucking hammered, enter a cornhole tournament. Nose? Yes, I've been trying to actively not Enough talk about your nose. nose <laughs> Enough the- of the nose. Yeah, you're bleeding. So what? Fucked Power up. through it. Blood, sweat, and fucking tears. The man. only people that have talked about their nose more than you is Whitney Houston. Enough. Jesus. That's a you don't even get septum. that, Finally Daniel. Catching up with you don't you. even get the joke. Whitney Houston? Yeah. Because she, cause she did drugs? What type of drugs? Heroin and cocaine. Up your, I was about to say, up your nose, you fucking dummy. You can do heroin up your nose. You can, yeah. Well, it looks like I got a new thing to do tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're trying to come at me like a fucking mook. Uh, that has to be a, some bad, right? <laughs> Daniel, if you could have if you could have not torn your ACL on either occasion, <laughs> hi, <right>, bro. <laughs> which which time would it have been and why? So you have to choose which knee goes first. If I could have torn, if I could have not torn either of them, no. If so, you had you have to ch- you you tore both. You have to choose which one was the, like. I'd rather have this one happen than the other one. I would say the one that didn't oh, directly I've... take him out of football immediately. I've actually thought about that, and it would be the one that took me out of football immediately. Because if I didn't, I was, I was good enough that this is probably how my career would end. It. If I didn't tear my ACL, I would have because tra- I transferred down from like big boy football to like smaller football, and I was playing pretty all right in smaller guy football. I would have played. I started nine games and played all right. If I didn't tear my ACL that first time, I would have started the rest of the season. I had a whole second season to play. I maybe would have played well enough that even if I tore it. The second time when I tore it, I would have had enough kind of clout to, like, just keep breaking my heart football-wise. Just like, oh, you're on the fucking Colts practice squad, and now you're in the XFL, and now you're on the Raiders practice squad. And, like, just – we wouldn't have had this, and I wouldn't have gotten the stand-up as quick. I, have, I know it's not funny, but I have thought about that. Tearing my ACL the first time put my life in the direction that I think it should be going in. Andrew doesn't think it should be going that way because he won't book me for 25 minutes. But every, <laughs> but it's going that direction. Yeah, you should tear your ACL again and see if you'll get 25. <laughs> <laughs> Just rip my shit off stage. <laughs> yeah, but definitely the, fir- definitely the first one. I know it wasn't funny, but ask a funny guy. All right. For the boys, what's the best Nick Cage movie? Ghost Rider, next question. And I know that's a fucking... I've watched Ghost Rider on FX, the extended cut. That's, bo- that's brought me closer with my father on multiple occasions. He's, he's nursing a hangover on a Sunday. I'm kind of sore from a youth football game. Ghost Riders on FX. Come on. Is it dead? I was about to, but my answer is for sure Gone in 60 Seconds. Best movie. Nick I don't think I've ever seen that. Don't call him Nick. I, is it weird to say Nick? I say Nicholas. That's weirder. Nicholas Cage? It's because you respect him. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I saw fucking, Indo- uh, not Independence Day, the uh, Da Vinci Code. Is that his big... Nope. No, that's Stop. National Treasure. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? National like, Treasure is the correct answer. Yeah, I was like, National yeah. Treasure is the correct Isn't answer. Isn't he also in a movie about like the world exploding and the very end of the movie is just him hugging his family as the fucking like. Yeah. John yeah, Cusack. I know. Yeah. No, 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 no. I know. A fucking you know what I'm talking, talking about, right? About. I vaguely remember seeing that. It was. Yeah, him, it's, it was. It's about date. It's a movie yeah. about dates, and he finds a book where it's like, this book says 9-11, and also all these other bad things, but also it says <laughs> dates in the future. Yeah. And it's just, it's one of those movies that you're Knowing. mad. Knowing. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those Knowing. movies you're mad you watched, where you're like, at the very end, it doesn't leave you with like a satisfied feeling, and you're like, so this guy basically just figured out when he was going to die, and we followed his story until then? You're like, yeah, pretty much. You're like, that fucking sucks. I'm sad now. Like yeah, he figured SpongeBob out the world was going to end, and then it did. Yeah, there's no, like, resolution. There's no, like, oh, some aliens come to save him before, like, the world blew up. Nothing. Like, no, they save his son. He didn't kill nobody. Oh, is that what it is? 
Yeah, that was the family hugging thing. He was saving his son, and then he went to like a bunch of aliens that kind of looked like people who didn't exactly look like people. Oh, there were aliens. Yes. Tristan, it's just going to keep bleeding. Stop fucking with it. Dude, it's leaking blood. What do you do to your face? I don't know. I think I think I knocked off the spigot. There's a spigot in my nose, and I knocked it off. You know what I did get? Speaking of uh, uh, like nose and facial stuff, I went out and I bought these. Uh, you know the tool that you use in your nose? It's like a little circle, and you like push yeah. it around, and it like makes all like the it clears your pores out. Bro, I'm addicted to that. I come home every day from work excited. I've almost debated taking it to work with me. Like the metal circular like, thing that you used to push yes, down. Yes, the and metal clear your circular pores. thing that you like. Yeah, you push down your pores and it like you know shoots all the little worms out. I fucking <laughs> love that, dude. I sit there and cause damage to my face. I'm almost. I'm the owner of the worms. <laughs> dude, this is humble. Do you need a sec? We actually have to switch batteries. You want to take like three minutes to go figure out your nose? Yeah. Oh, that's not <laughs> the same guy. Oh man. <laughs> They just let anyone be stars back in the day, huh? They just let anyone up there. <laughs> this was the number one song in 1983. Come on, Eileen. Come on, Eileen. <laughs> this guy's off the good coke. Singing fucking come on, Yeah, Eileen. dude. That's insane. Also, we're back in. All right, we're back. All right, so now I understand what you're saying. Is yeah. there a song live that really ruins it for <laughs> just you? Just so bad. I'll give you that. Uh, Rich the Kid's Plug Walk. Saw it live. <laughs> Sucked. <laughs> Ass. Blue dick. This nigga didn't even sing like like the instrumental. He thought he was being cool by not rapping over the like the words. And then he played the instrumental and really overestimated how much niggas knew his song. <laughs> <laughs> really, like really misjudged how much Dude, when he played I've it. Always seen, I've, were, always, I've seen that where people are just where the rapping just be like, fuck you talking about. And you're just like and people are just like, bro, but he was like <laughs> as a mumble rapper, that's bold bro <laughs> to, to just really cut the fucking instrumentals as as like a bunch of white people just like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have my plug talk he's <laughs> like come on man have a little bit more fucking all uh, you kind of know like is, awareness all you need is kind of the cadence of that song too just kind of be like this is a thing and now you are here and you yeah. can just literally- <laughs> and now and it's just like kids singing like the one part that they know yeah. Do you have a Do you have a guy like that where you saw it live and you're like, I don't like this band anymore? Um, on it, it's not like I saw a band live. It was more. Uh, it was I saw Wiz Khalifa and Snoop Dogg on. No, their... no, 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 no. I have tickets August twenty third. Actually, don't tell me your opinion. I'm, this is gonna ruin it for me. <laughs> I'm being dead ass serious because you're obviously about to not go into like it was the best concert going experience <laughs> of my life. I'm already three hundred bucks out. Don't fucking ruin this for me. <laughs> Oh, then no, I think the worst out. one for me, the worst one for me has to be Linkin Park. Tristan, oh, have you ever what? seen Linkin Park live? Just because they had a no. fill in front, man, doesn't ruin it. Fucking <laughs> calm down. Dude, I went when I was like, when I was younger, and it's 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 tough. <laughs> it sounds nothing like the studio version. No, of course not. Bro. No, but like not even close. It's screamo. You can't match. Like mixed fuck. Ah! That sounds so much better after you like mix it up and chop it. I know, but like I wasn't expecting Chester's voice to be that high key. Dude, yeah, honestly, tough. honestly, like the one thing I like, the, do you know who's I would be so pissed if I went and got went and spent all this money on 21 Savage tickets just to watch him be like featuring on all of his songs, saying like two words and then just kind of bopping around the stage like the entire time. On the flip like side, do you have? Did you ever see a, a like a live show where you're like, I don't really fuck with these niggas, and then you like watch it and you're like, ah. X Ambassadors. I could see how that'd be. Like, oh, that 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 yeah. show was fucking tough. I could see how that would be nice. I saw I wasn't a Coldplay guy, and given it could have just been like the they're huge, so just seeing a spectacle where the Cardinals play is like fun. But I didn't even really fuck with them like that. But then like you go see the songs, you're like, dude, fucking how is science? <laughs> 
Paradise. Yeah. I'm like screaming Paradise, and I like gave kids <laughs> I gave kids wedgies for liking that song in seventh grade. I'm just like, this is fucking sick. Chris Martin, you're my dad. <laughs> yeah, I gave him wedgies, <laughs> but they didn't see it the way I fucking saw it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to clocks, just crying. Sound yeah. of speed. That was uh, when I y- ruled the land. <sighs> Just listening to people <laughs> like me, Do you have a? Uh, all right, here we'll we'll get out on this. If you uh, if you had a gun to your head and it was like you have to challenge someone, you have to win a challenge. You have to win a competition. It's not stand up. What is the one thing you feel most confident about that would save your life? You're like, I could beat you in this. Um, I mean, just gloving, just to throw people out of left field. <laughs> What? You know, the whole like boo loop, boo loop. Oh, boo-loop. the glove. I thought yeah. you said loving like oh an my asshole. God, no. You're no way. You do the stupid fucking lights on your fingers. And that's, like... that's somehow oh, yeah. worse than loving. Oh, I'd be like, no. just do the, do this and make a wave. And then they'll be like, oh, oh, oh. And I'd be like, yeah, kill him, dummy. Like, I, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. You're not even into EDM like that. Why are you into fucking... Gl- no, but he is into drugs, drugs. like that. He's <laughs> into drugs like that. Yeah. Molly's yeah. for everyone, bud. <laughs> Going like... Oh, Ew. yeah. This was nah, sixth you're such grade. a nerd. I've never thought less of you than right... <laughs> Dude, if this was a pitch dark room and we are fucking just tripping shit on Molly, you, I'd be your god right now. Nothing. I would be. I would be less mad if I came in and saw my kid like plotting to shoot up a school than if I walked in <laughs> to a completely dark room to my guy going like, "Oh, that was nice. Look at that wave. Look at the rotation. Look at this. Like, look dude, at this. I'd oh lose wow. It. Look, look, look at my fingers. Look at my fingers do a thing. Guess what they can also do? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's one way to get kicked out of the bridge gat household, and you just unlocked it, bud. That's it right there. Fucking. Yeah, you got to go like this, shrink, shrink, and then you say, "Hey, ladies." <laughs> And you finger him. Let's get to the Patreon names, huh? <laughs> oh, oh, these are fantastic. I'm very happy about these. Now that I realize Tristan's a forever virgin no matter what he says, let's fucking get to the Patreon name. Listen, my gloving empire will be recognized. Did you really have some, or did you just, like, you oh, got yeah, your I fingers did. to do no, that? No, I had, oh. I had, a, I had like, a couple sets. No, no. You had, you had backup gloves. Oh yeah, you had you had specialty ones like how bowlers have different balls. You're like, this is my seven to ten split fucking gloves. Oh Jesus! So, <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Oh man! So, All right. So as always, have... when you join the Patreon and uh, we encourage name changing because it's fucking awesome, uh, we'll read out a couple of the new patrons over here, and we do have a few new boys, which is, I mean, gonna get us demonetized pretty much. So that's so that's sick. Uh, here, you want to take the first one? Uh, I'll take the first two. Um, uh, femboy, uh, femboy, bussy, go plup plup. Um, <laughs> blah, blah. Is it? We don't know. Oh, it's, it's not plup plup. <laughs> <laughs> it's plup plup. <laughs> oh, that's an A. I thought it was O. So let me go that again. Uh, femboy, pussy, go plat plat. Um, Which, the next one. I don't think it, we know who that is. That's a random uh, person. <laughs> that's a random person. Uh, this one next one is Hayden. He says Daniel's uh, Daniel has black felt held by craft glue for armpit hair. <laughs> Rar XD. Rar XD. Can't spell my name wrong, which is I mean which, a direct <laughs> which, slight, a Dan- direct which slight because this nigga follows me and I know he knows how to spell my name. That's which crazy. I was about to say, do you think anyone spells Daniel Danielle outside of like an inner city hair salon? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, that's only how you spell it if you put an apostrophe in the front of it. Nathaniel, that's that might be all right. NBG. Oh, uh, we got ca- oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Uh, <laughs> we got Carl. We got ca- we got Carl. Slap my cheek sideways and call me Orville Redenbacher Goldthorpe. <laughs> if only this nigga stand up was as cool as his fucking Patreon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love you, Carl. I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, thank you. Alan Carl. Young, got- Powell, and, uh, oh, geez. Brad, all you guys have smoked weed on my back porch bowling. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, Brad. You ain't going to catch me slipping. Yeah, Andrew's all fucking yeah, gay whenever you come over. Yeah, just because you're a piece of shit and never smoked weed with me. If anything, that's a testament to you being a bad friend and not a good hand. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to bond with Brad, even though I know he doesn't like my uppity attitude. I'm taking 
multiple nights sleeps on this guy's couch after smoking weed in his backyard. Yeah, because right, and that, and it is too late to go home. We got one more. We got Pet My Goldfish. Who? Trevin's new name. Which, this is such a deep cut. Shout out to fucking Trevin, because when did we have Joel on? Episode like... I was like 45. That was the first apartment. That yeah. was like early. That was apartment one. Oh, young, is young Scooter Scooters the name of the fucking... Rapper. Either rapper that, oh that, my God. that Joel was on. That he was a chemist cooking crack for? <laughs> yeah. You remember that one? <laughs> Damn. This is Young Scooter's hype man, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to Trevin Muncy. We appreciate you. As always... We love you. Uh, tell a friend about the Patreon, not just the cast. And uh, I'll see you guys next week.